Hey, hey, kiddos, it is Mr. King sitting here looking more and more like Bob Ross every day, not being able to get that haircut and not bothering to shave. Uh, so you guys know that it is a awesome day. Guess what day? It's Friday. Uh, always exciting. A little less of a Friday now that we're all kind of stuck at home. But hey, you know, it's still a pretty cool day anyway. Uh, hold on, I just got to take... <laughs> That's much better. Um, so <laughs> I've got a little bit to go through in announcements, but not a, a whole lot of brand new stuff. Just going to do the weather and some basics. But you know what time comes first. Please find the flag, put your hand over your heart, and please stand for the flag salute. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. You may be seated. Kendall Weather! So guys, got a lot to report right here, which is uh, that, well, winter is coming. Bach. I don't know if you guys are way too young to know Arnold. Uh, but that's a little, you know, fun reference. But yeah, winter is coming back a little bit here, which is that we are actually going to be dropping uh, temperature. Uh, we talked about that before. We just had that really weird um, thunderstorm. They didn't predict that in the weather fully. Uh, that came through. I don't know if you guys got the same lightning and thunder that I did. Actually, a house nearby got hit um, with a lightning strike, which is pretty exciting. Um, but anyways, um, we got some temperature drops over here. We're really plummeting down. This is actually uh, almost record-breaking. This is once every 50 years, I believe, uh, kind of cold. So we'll also have frost overnight for Friday night. And sad to say that Saturday... Uh, is going to be windy, cold, with a slight chance of sprinkles throughout. So that's kind of, you know, uh, tough stuff all the way through. Um, the positive note, we talked to, or talked about that last time, which is that it is a waxing moon moving into a full moon. I caught a glimpse of the moon last night. It really did look full. So get out there, get some stargazing done. Um, especially with the high winds on Saturday, I imagine the clouds will be getting moved out of the way pretty easily. So go look at that moon. Check it out. It's time for the question, and also the challenge of the day. Or as I now like to call it, the Madison Holtz Answers Everything uh, Hour, which is actually pretty interesting because last time I asked you guys about who made this and what do you think it means, which uh, it is a work, guess what, Madison told us, Banksy created this picture. I believe he made that to honor healthcare workers. Um, and she said buy right there. So anyways, uh, Madison's absolutely right. It is to honor healthcare workers. It's a really amazing uh, image. Here's actually uh, in the hospital uh, that it is posted in. And one of the coolest things about Banksy, I love to preach uh, his work because he's probably one of the most exciting artists out there right now in contemporary art, in my opinion, uh, is that he or she or they, which is a crazy thing, snuck this into the hospital, put it up on the wall, and now they have artwork from one of the most famous artists in the world uh, to honor their efforts in that hospital. And you can see it's really cool when I said, what does it mean? Um, it's a kid playing with a action figure of a healthcare worker rather than uh, his superheroes that are sitting in the basket behind him. So really cool, a lot of meaning behind it. Uh, remember, guys, when you do have the answers to these, um, you can go right ahead and let me, whoops, I got to pop Madison's thing off here and you can send that right over to my email address. Uh, let me know that you've got the correct answer. And so really what the question of the day coming up, uh, is, is who is Banksy? If you can tell me that you've got some real points coming to you. Um, and on top of that, the challenge of the day is actually someone to get me a picture of that full moon that's going to be out there. So if you give me a picture of that full moon, you get the challenge done, you get that uh, answer of who Banks is, you get the question done. And now it is so sadly time for us to part, say goodbye. Hey guys, it's that Kendall mission statement time. I know it's sad to say goodbye to Mr. King. But you're going to have the uplifting uh, mission statement coming at you. The mission of the Kendall Central School District is to provide the knowledge, skills, values, and attitudes needed by students to live responsibly and to compete successfully in today's and tomorrow's world. 
I hope you guys have an amazing weekend. You get a chance to enjoy that full moon. And remember to stay colorful, Kendall. See you later.